question that's been coming up about the Promise Scholarship and the fact that uh, people who look, do, do not own homes, uh, because as you know, you have to be a homeowner uh, to qualify for the scholarship. But there are other ways uh, for students to apply for financial aid as well. Usually somebody who doesn't have the financial resources to purchase a home, when they do the free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA, as everybody knows it, usually these students qualify for full Pell Grant, and if they do it in time, there's also $2,500, $2,700 out there of state grant money. When you add those up, you're at about $8,000 in financial aid. So those would actually take the place of the Promise Scholarship, because this only pays tuition and fees. And if tuition and fees are covered through the federal Pell Grant and state grant money, they would not qualify for the Promise Scholarship anyway. So I want to get that out into the public, that there's still ways to receive financial aid where, where school can be paid for.